Hi, and I'm here, right before the costume. Now, first starting with the left, going to the right. You are? I am Rogue from the X-Men. And you are? Golden Age Catwoman. From? Batman. That's right. And you are? I'm um, Silk Spectre 1 from Watchmen. And you are? Silk Spectre 2 from Watchmen. So you guys all make, make your own costumes? Sometimes um, it all depends. This one, no, but my other costumes, yes. How about yourself? I made the mask and the ears. And you, yeah, you have a cape. That's cool. And yourself? Um, I mean, I assemble it pretty much. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I assemble, but most of my costumes I make are put together. Not this one, though. Oh, not this one. Okay. <laughs> now, why did you decide on the, this, this certain character, Rogue? Um, Rogue's always been my favorite. She's the strongest, and um, she has a great guy like Remy, who's always chasing after her. I mean, she's my favorite. You don't mind the fact that you can't touch anybody with your bare skin? Some people I'd rather not touch. <laughs> and why'd you pick Golden Age Catwoman? Um, Catwoman is very brave and bold. Batman. <laughs> so I like her. Oh, yeah, because that's the outfit she's wearing during Batman Brave and the Bold. Right. right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Why did you guys decide on the two versions of Silk Spectre? Um, well, we both were in love with the comic and the movie, and so we debated. And the costume. Yeah. Love yeah. The costumes. Yeah, I love this costume. Are you guys good, good friends? Yep. Yeah. We're like sisters. Sisters. Yeah. So you guys said, uh, how did you decide on which who gets what? We asked people. Yeah. We asked everyone. Based so. on who looked more like which character. So it's like you guys just took a boat and said, all right. You know, yeah. yeah. All right. Basically, wow, that's cool. Democracy at its best. Have you guys dressed up in costumes a lot at these conventions? Yeah. Always. What are, the other, what are the characters you guys go as? Um, I've been Poison Ivy, Batgirl, Silk Spectre 1. Um, the other ones are escaping me right now, but I've been a few others. I've been a dead uh, zombie French maid. Um, I've been this, and I've been Harley Quinn and Catwoman. Wow. And a bunch of anime stuff for an yeah. other cons. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, how about how about Rogue? Uh, who else have you been? I've actually been a couple of Transformers, um, G1 Blaster, Transformers Animated Blur, and I'm working on uh, Beast Wars Air Razor. And how about you? I've been Supergirl. Super oh wow, that's cool. And uh, so, any more? You guys have ever been to any other conventions besides this one, like the San Diegos or anything like that? Not San Diego, but um, I just came back from New York Comic Con. Um, I did Gem Con this year, G.I. Joe Con, Bot Con, Anime Boston, anything I can get to. Catwoman? I've been to the Super Mega Fest. Wow, that's a good convention. Um, Silk Spectres? Um, well, we've been, she's been to more than I have, but I've been to a few. My first few ones were really small and more like where you can get comics and less mi more meet and greet and stuff but um then i gradually went to bigger cons mm -hmm. cool and i went to granite con boston comic con um this is my first time going to this one and anime boston and aac how long have you been into these comics superheroes things like that my whole life your whole life mm -hmm. yes. wow well, do, you, do you have a first memory of getting into that i was a big spider-man kid when i was like three and I was Spider Girl for Halloween, so cool. by my own choice. How about you, original Silk Spectre? <laughs> um, well, the first big one I remember is going to a theme park, and they had their maps laid out in the style of a Batman comic. And I basically, after getting on all of the rides, just read the same map over and over again. And so I really began to fall in love with all of them. And how, how old are you? Oh, I had to be like maybe three or so. Cool, cool, wow. And Rogue? That's tough. Um, maybe a, a crypto comic I found in my brother's room at the time. And um, How old are you? I don't know, I was always been older than him. I know, but how old were you when you found it? Oh, when I found it? Oh, I don't know. I was definitely young. Young. Young, but ever ever since I was little, it's been cartoons, comic books, everything from Transformers, G.I. Joe, Thundercats, whatever I can get. Catwoman? And I've been a Batman, Spider-Man, Superman fan, just, you know, cool. the popular superheroes. <laughs> why, why do you think there, final question, why do you think there's a stigma 
for girls liking this stuff. Oftentimes girls aren't seen liking the boy stuff. Why do you think that is? I think mostly it's um, was always been told and thought that um, guys like comic books and toys, but um, girls like it too. I and mean, whatever guys like, girls like it too. All right, well, I think the convention's starting. And plus the Ghostbuster music, kind of loud. We got busted, right. Uh, what do you, well, why don't, what do you think the stigma is? Um, personally, I feel like when you're younger, you don't necessarily want to stand out. You want to be one of the girls who does ballet and, you know, is a princess all the time. But, um, and if you do maybe like the superheroes, it's not necessarily easy to fit in. But I think it's worth it. How about yourself? I think we all kind of have like a superhero in us or like a super villain, like kind of alter ego to us. Um, that sounds really crazy, but <laughs> I think we all have that. And it's kind of like just living in the fantasy world of like thinking that we could do something better than what we're doing with our lives. It's just the thought of thinking about that, you know. Just... All right. Well, thank, thank, thank you very much. Uh, and let maybe one of these will be the lucky winner of the of the uh, costume contest.